Well, what's going on everybody? Today we're doing another review. We got another GKUD 600 dash cam. They sent us here. In the front and rear. We're gonna put in the girlfriend's there, dirty dodge. In the dodge. Let's open her up. Let's see what we got. Well, the first look inside, the manual. Must be some cleaning stickers. Oh, warranty card. Just, and this is the front main camera. That to the side. Cords power it up. And the back camera is attached to the other cord here. No removing that. Spins freely to, to your good angle. Okay, I'm assuming this one would connect to this camera. Oh, I noticed this one comes with a, a memory card as well. Nice, a little 64 gig. Oh, little sticky mounts for the hide the wiring. That's cool. Keep it all nice and organized. Couple extra sticky pads in case we want to remove it and put it somewhere else. And a little pry bar. Not too shabby. And that's it. So we'll hook it up in the truck and um, start testing it out. Just setting this up here in the Dadge. I do like this feature right here. Has a little mount. It's hard to tell when you're just looking at the sky. But the camera gonna slide on and off. Nice and easy. Well, we just got the cord up there for now. The only power outlet in this dirty dadge is in here. We got a little one backed up, tucked underneath um, the seat there. So let's test it out and see how she does.
So, first off, you want to make sure your Wi-Fi is connected to the phone, as we are here. I'll we'll close that. We'll go to the Jarvis Cam app. Should connect. Perfect. Pause it. Play it. Pause it. Screenshot. Um, just under the screen, we can go to the camera flip. That will show us the rear view. Go back. We go to camera settings, got the sound recording, speaker volume, video resolution, loop recording, one, two, one minute, two minute, three minutes, anti-flicker, timestamp, rear uh, camera flip, left and right, collision sensing, and different Wi-Fi information. Firmware version, different kind of format, and we can factory reset everything. So if you go to camera files here, all your videos and your clips that you've recorded so far, click on whatever. Bottom left, you click download. Once it finishes downloading, you can view video files at the bottom. To originally get to that, once you're here, the very top it says album. Just give that a click. It shows your loop files. Everything's here. You can save that on the bottom right side. There we go. Saved to your album now. That's all. Pretty straightforward how to use it. So far, it's been really good. Well, thanks for tuning in to another video, guys. If you're looking for a cheap, affordable dash cam, this is definitely my recommendation. So far, it's been good. Good price. Can't go wrong there, guys. Stay tuned. I got a couple more videos coming, maybe a couple more views, and then... Uh, I also bought a, got a new boat, so stay in touch.